Okay, so, uh, so I'm still in my apartment. This is a little bit harder for me to share, but, but I'm going to give it my best. I've, I've done a prototype of what the day two activities of roadmap creation will involve, which, which is where we get people engaged in collaborating together on joining their respective open education initiatives together. So what might you be able to do together that you can't do on your own? That's sort of the focus of day two. And those collaborations can happen within a region or within a country or across regions or across kind of sectors, if you will. It's going to be a bit of um, uh, affinity grouping based on your interests uh, of day two. So let me see if I can uh, share with you how this works. <laughs> it's a bit tricky for me to do this and manage the camera at the same time. But okay, here we go. So on the left, we start with what it is, you know, who are the regions that are going to work together? And again, it's similar to day one in that we start with what is it that we have to start with? What is it we can use as the basis for a collaboration? What assets do we have? So the color coding is similar to day one, green for open assets. Who are the people in community involved? That's yellow. Blue is what are the operations and sustainability components that we have that could potentially be shared and combined? And pinkish red is what are the benefits and value propositions that are potentially being combined into a collaborative activity? And all of those could be based on specific initiatives in orange that are already underway that are being used as the basis for a collaboration. And then by collaboration, you might be wondering, well, so what does a collaboration look like? And so I've tried to map out a number of different kinds of collaborations. And so let me kind of, oh boy, <laughs> let me see if I can do this. So the top one, uh, starting with this, is like here is an open education resource or initiative and the nature of the collaboration is what I'm calling distribution. So in distribution, that resource gets adopted and distributed and shared and reused by others all over the world or all over, the, all, all over our, our particular collaborative region. Ideally, there'd be some um, you know, if there are improvements to the resource by these, by these other users, they would get contributed back and shared for the benefit of everybody. That's part of the whole model of open education. Um, the second one here is a little bit different. We're starting with two different initiatives or resources, and we're engaging in a collaboration that combines them together. So you might have a course in biology and a course in physics, you're going to combine them together into a shared use case where, where um, perhaps they're coming from different initiatives and now you've created a collective benefit by combining them. The third one again starts with a resource but this one looks at actually scaling it. So how could you take a starting resource and then amplify and scale it and make it as big as possible everywhere around the world. So that's a collaboration involving scaling. The fourth example here is one that has a starting point of a resource, but then recognizes that it might need to be translated or localized for it to be um, optimal for use in a particular setting or geography. And so this collaboration would be one that focuses on the translation and localization of initiatives and resources around different regions or parts of the world. And then the last, the fifth example I have, and these are just five, there's other ways of thinking about collaboration, but I wanted you to imagine different possibilities. This one starts with three different initiatives or resources, and then engages in a collaboration that focuses on integration. How might those three initiatives be brought together in a way that is synergistic and complementary? So those are examples of different kinds of collaborations that we hope to engage you all in considering and doing on day two using your roadmaps as a starting point. I hope you have fun with it. It's a lot of fun. And we'll really be looking to document what the roadmaps say and, uh, and potentially use these as a starting point for real collaborations going forward.